Well, there they go, the bikes. Bye bye, bikes. See you later. Okay, New Delhi Tempa 71A. This one. Okay, Jamie, this is the plane that's taking us to India. We're going south. <laughs> Flag carrier for Kazakhstan. So it's a Kazakhstan airplane. And, uh, we're going to be flying south, directly south actually, up over the Himalayas, down the other side, yeah. to India. To New Delhi. Excuse and now I can show how it looks like in this flight. Okay, here you can see where we're going. We are going directly south. Right over the Himalayas, I think it's about one and a half thousand kilometers or something like that. Here in New Delhi, the first thing we notice straight away is uh, the humidity. We've just come from uh, dry air in Central Asia, been there for months, and now all of a sudden it feels like you're in the tropical enclosure of the zoo, <laughs> even though it's only 29 degrees. What do you think? Well, I want to tell about my toilet experience. The lady that's looking after the toilets, she opened the door for me, she took a piece of toilet paper and wiped the seat, and when I came out to wash my hands, she gave me the and towels to dry my hands. Yeah, I'll tell you about mine. I also <laughs> went to wash my hands and the guy cleaning the floor went over to get paper towels for yeah. me and gave them to me. <laughs> yeah, it's funny you had the same. Yeah, good service. <laughs> this is the immigration. Whether you have an Indian passport or a foreign passport. And we have an e visa, e visa, so that means we have to go to the e visa queue. Well, that's quite good because there's nobody in the queue. Okay, so we just collected our three visas, that went very fast. The lady behind, she was <laughs> extremely fast at getting us uh, scanned and uh, visas and um, our fingerprints taken. So that was quick, easy to get your, collect your visa here when you arrive, no problems at all. This place looks just like Copenhagen Airport, all the signs. And we have to find the bikes, and they're right there. <laughs> that didn't take two minutes, they're already waiting here for us, amazing. All our other bags are waiting down here, no problem at all. Then you have to wait one minute. Oh, right from the hotel we were, where we're staying, he's already waiting to collect us, even pushing the bikes. 
I don't have to do anything. Oh, it's really humid. I've never been anywhere this humid. <laughs> it's only 30 degrees, but it feels really you hot. Like to be in the zoo? In the zoo, yeah. <laughs> Tropical area. Crocodiles, and, Crocodiles uh, yeah. Yeah, when they live in the yep. zoo, yep. you can see them. It's very uh, the same temperature. Humid. Humid. The very humid. Yeah. Okay, this is India style how to take the bags of the food. It's very fun. Nice and green here. Green. Very green. Yes, yes. Wow. Actually, this is new airport. This airport starting guard in the 2 column 10. It's a common back game. Oh. Okay, oh yeah. Look at this thing. We are in Delhi. It's hot here, yes. Okay, so now we're in the. It's actually bed and breakfast. But, uh, and welcome us with cold water and a nice cup of tea and then give us some tips how to how to get around the town so. <laughs> very good so this is our first indian hotel room well better breakfast this is a good uh, bit <laughs> <laughs> looks nice here yeah. perfect yes no idea what to expect about no indian. no no <laughs> we have been like well we don't know what to expect but yeah. also we we'll find out within the yeah few days yeah. <laughs> okay very good a little bit strange but now we're going to go to an Italian restaurant <laughs> we are in India in India <laughs> never mind okay so even though we're not even in the center it's an extremely noisy place they like uh, tooting their horns well, this is gonna be our first restaurant in uh, India Italian restaurant Ding. <laughs> okay this is completely bizarre we're now inside an Italian restaurant in New Delhi, they speak perfect English. <laughs> very strange, very modern place. We never expected it to be like this at all. So, they, how to say the hotel, guest house kind of thing. They say that it's normal, they have a, a Chinese food and they have Italy, Italy food and other kind of food. So, for them, it's normal. But I have never heard before they have Italian restaurant in New Delhi. No. So this evening we have to find this Indian food. That's the goal of today. Completely strange this when uh, <laughs> going on the airplane and then from Central Asia and then coming to Asia now and to India. We haven't, haven't really landed yet. I'm a bit like, I don't know how to say it, but it's very strange. Yeah, it's very strange, yeah. Okay, first thing we notice is they drive on the left here, just like we do in England. Yeah. Now we're in a rickshaw here. First time, they didn't expect to be one of these on the first day. Yeah. They had to take are, us to a restaurant. Yeah, now we are in mean, Tuk Tuk. Yeah, Tuk Tuk they call it. This is House Cows Village. I lived in the hotel, thought we could maybe eat here. Let's have a little look around. The fun thing is there are so many cables here and that is the electricity to the house. And that is very amazing how there are so many uh, wires to the internet. Okay, here they have huge butts, just like on Indiana Jones. Okay, this is a very beautiful little uh, lake we are seeing. Yes, and here there are bats and there are some that are big and some are a little bit more small. And you can see them just flying everywhere in the park here. Succeeded finally to get some Indian food. <laughs> we couldn't get any nam bread. We mainly have burgers here, but uh, <laughs> Jamie's suffering with spices. Okay, so this is a city of life, colour and noise. Tuk 
truck on the way home. It's called tuk tuk. We have here in India, they call this tuk tuk. Yes, <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> okay, well that was the end of today. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> so, yeah, I knew it was going to be a big change. Going from one of the uh, quietest countries in the world to one of the busiest in the world. Well, and uh, yeah, a city of what? 1.7 million. We started this morning, which actually was quite a big place for us compared to where we have been for the past few months, and then end up here, New Delhi, 18 million people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it all went okay. The flight was really went really well. No problems at all. Nice flight. Landed here, and the taxi was waiting for us. So yeah, it all went really well. So um, and, uh, had lunch. Italian restaurant, <laughs> well, not what we expected, but actually extremely good for an Italian restaurant. And we just had a rest in the room this afternoon, so we're awake at uh, two o'clock this morning. So now we've just been out to an area called House Cows, the area is called. Um, really extremely interesting area, really full of life, noise, colour, just uh, what we expected India to be. We didn't realise we'd see it so soon, but uh, yeah, so that was great. Uh, seems to be an extremely interesting place. This is going to be an exciting few weeks we have here. Completely different to where we have been. So, to countries where which have been quite restrictive and you some haven't even seen alcohol or drinking and here people are just living life to the full here, can we see? <laughs> so yeah, good place. Extremely nice uh, bed and breakfast or it's a kind of guest house. The owners live downstairs and we're staying up here so yeah, excellent. And what are the difference for us that we noticed straight away, the second we got out of the airplane, is the is uh, the heat. But not only the heat, it's the humidity. It's, it's only about 30 degrees, so it's uh, quite cold really compared to what we've been experiencing for the past month or so. But uh, the humidity is quite high, so it uh, just feels like you're in a kind of tropical jungle. It's, uh, also, where we were this evening, there was bats flying around. It was <laughs> completely bizarre. But uh, it does feel... Uh, it doesn't feel hot, it just feels like it's a nice temperature really, but it is much more humid. So that's something we have to get used to. Maybe our skin will stop drying out now and uh, be a bit more soft again. But uh, yeah, so yeah, those are the main differences we noticed. Also, cars drive on the left here. Um, just like in England, you can, you can really tell the influence of uh, Great Britain has on this country. Of course, Great Britain ruled uh, India for 190 years. Uh, until 1947, but you can still see the influence. Even um, people talk English everywhere, nearly everybody talks English, even um, people that look Indian, they're sitting on tables talking English to each other. Uh, road signs are in English, so yeah, already amazing compared to being in countries where they only speak Russian or Kyrgyz or Uzbek, we can't understand anybody to hear, everybody we, we can understand and talk to. <laughs> A big difference. So uh, that's the first time we've been able to speak English to just about everybody for a long, long time. So, yeah, that's also something we have to get used to. But, uh, yeah, interesting place. So that's it. Now we're in New Delhi. <laughs> we just have to get used to the idea ourselves, I think. But, uh, tomorrow we're going to go to Old Delhi. So that's going to be an even wilder experience. That's even noisier and uh, colourful. And uh, go and see the Red Temple, I think it's called. Well, uh, Go and see that, and um, take the metro. It's supposed to be an easy way to get around the city, so we'll give that a go as well. So, so okay. Tomorrow's going to be an exciting day, <laughs> so we get some rest, and uh, we'll be ready for that. Okay. See you tomorrow in New Delhi.